Okay, hey guys, um, this is going to be my first video on Minecraft, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lock, well, a combination lock using four levers, which you can see I've label, labelled A, B, C, D, just to be simple. So now let's hop over here and show you how the um, redstone side of things works. Whoa. Bit of lag. So first of all, we put down redstone torches by all of the um, all of the levers. That transfers the signal from the lever back behind the block. So now we need to decide what the combination is going to be. I'm going to make it that A and D have to be off. So we have to put an inverter by A and D. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's a block with a redstone. Oh crap. Crap. It's a block with a redstone torch on the other side. And that simply changes the um the state of the redstone signal from on to off or vice versa. So there we go. Let's do another inverter here. Oh I'll just finish that inverter. Oops. So now to um I need to put in some AND gates. They are effectively oh. They are three blocks in a row. Redstone torch there. Redstone torch there. Another one there. A piece of the wire there. And another piece there. Now we'll put in another AND gate here. And what an AND gate does is takes in two inputs and um, only produces an output when there's when both of the inputs are on. So we use that to make sure all of the um, all of the switches are in their correct position, like so. What I'm going to use, there are better ways of doing it, but I'm going to use a series of AND gates just for simplicity. So yeah, we'll do another AND gate. So this is saying if both of those AND gates are on, then this one will be on. But both of those AND gates have to be on, so... Oh. Try 
camera, my computer is rather bad. I'm sorry about that. We'll just finish this off. So we'll just make the wire leading to the door. And the wire has to go straight into the door. Now if it's a um if it's a long way from the from the switches to the door, then you may need to use a repeater. And you can Google what that is. I mean, you can include this this um, lock design almost anywhere, and it can easily be a lot longer or bigger than this one. Many more switches. Yeah, let's test it out, and hopefully, this should work. So when A is off, B and C are both on, D is off, then hopefully the door should be open. If I turn B off as well, Turn B off as well, and you can see the door shut. So you need to get the right combination. So I help you. This help you guys out there who uh, don't know a lot about redstone circuitry to um, help protect some of your some of your areas that you don't want people going to. So uh, only you can access this if you know the password. So, um, yeah, I hope this helps. Please uh, comment and like. Thanks.